So one day I was training and my wife came to me with this workout and she said, you should totally do this workout. Yeah, I can do that. Hey guys, so as you may not already know, I'm going to be doing today's workout as the 12 minute workout by Chloe Ting. This is an ab based workout that I very, very much do not do, not my style, but I saw it trending on YouTube and I thought, why not give it a go? Especially since my wife told me you should give it a go and see how you feel about things like this. So watch the video. I'm on the mat with the 17 exercises, 30 seconds long. Start in a high boat position, then tuck your legs in, then extend them out, but lean back a little bit more until your elbows touch the mat. No resting, we've got single leg crunches next. We bend the up towards your chest like so, and then back down and keep on that leg. Make sure your core is doing the work here, guys. Now for those of you who are wondering, what is this ab workout by Chloe Ting? It's an ab workout which only needs you to have uh, exercises on the mat and on the floor, and you need no equipment as well. Now it was something that's coming quite common across YouTube because of the world being under a pandemic, in case you didn't know. So exercises from home have become very popular, and as a trend across the internet, we wanna make sure that we can always provide exercises and workouts for people to do. So I believe that this exercise program was done for people who may be shy to go to gyms or people who don't have the ability to go to a gym, like the lockout, or people who want to just do exercises from home from their busy lifestyles. And I think this is one of the powerful tools that can get you there. Now, what do the exercise comprise of? Well, honestly, it comprises of a lot of abdominal-based workouts, things that I wasn't used to. Crunches, side crunches, scorpion crunches, things that I didn't even know what they were, things that I've done in the past, things that I probably will never do again. But it did get me sweating. Like I said, now why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, I think a big reason why people don't go to the gym because it can be very intimidating. And I think that was one of the biggest points that I wanted to get across when I came to the gym. The first few videos that I ever released were how to overcome gym anxiety, as well as how to achieve and use resolutions. And those are for people who are very nervous going to gyms. And I believe exercises at home can get you started. Now I'm gonna go through about the actual summary of what I think about this whole workout. So the first question you're probably asking is, is it good? The definition of good changes from person to person. Now for me, when I first started going to the gym, I purely just wanted to go to the gym because I wanted to look good and feel good. I wanted to see what my body could do. And I believe that whatever I did in the past was not optimal for me. And also as you start to grow in age, your training methodology should also change as well. Now you're asking, why are you telling me this? Because I believe that the exercises that this program has shown you are good, are effective, but only for the beginners. Because if you're looking to get more advanced in something and you're exposed to something that you want to actually experience, these exercises probably won't get you there. And what I mean by that is, me in my past, you know, I've done things like powerlifting, weightlifting, CrossFit and bodybuilding. These exercises won't get you better at those movements, but it will get you started. And I primarily believe that a lot of these exercises and a lot of these YouTube 
based exercise workout plans that get you to follow along are primarily there just to get you started because the rule number one of developing a new habit and being a better version of yourself is just to show up and give it a go. You don't know where this could lead you. This could lead you to becoming a personal trainer, to being a lot fitter, to being more interested in something else like gymnastics or even bodybuilding, powerlifting, crossfit, or something like I did as well. Hell, it could lead you to a career like it did for me. So I really think that doing any exercise is still better than no exercise. Now, who isn't it for? If you have injuries, I primarily believe that any exercise program that is provided to you on the internet with no assessment of you is not for you. So if you have an injury, do not do this exercise program. I highly recommend that you consult with a professional who actually knows and understands what's happening with you. A person that is able to help you in face-to-face -face is always gonna be better than a greater person who is online because the face-to-face -face element is so important to assessing what you need. Will it work? Well, that depends on what your goal is. Now, as I'm getting older, I have looked into more just getting workouts done because it makes me feel good. So will that work? Yes, actually, I believe that workout will help me just to make me feel good, despite all the swearing that you might hear when, me, when you used to watch me do this workout. Despite all the swearing that you might hear me do. <laughs> despite all the swearing that you might hear me say as I was doing this workout. It actually challenged me and I've started to go, hey look, it doesn't matter how many degrees I have, how many years I've done this for, it actually made me have a bit of a good time and humbled me as well. So it's very nice to know that there's something out there that can still challenge me. And I think this is a big one that I would like to say to anyone out there who may be in the same position as Chloe or myself or anyone on YouTube as well. It's about self-reflection. Now, like I said, I think these workouts here are very effective if you happen to be a healthy person with no injuries and can actually conduct them safely. The one thing that's most important is if you can follow someone who can say, actually, this is not for you. Because a person who thinks they can help every single person in the whole world is actually a dangerous person or a person who is quite naive. And I primarily believe that a lot of people need to see the right person who can prescribe towards them. So first of all, if you're looking for someone to help motivate you and you have no injuries, go for these workouts on YouTube, make sure it's the right person though. The second one is find someone who's not afraid to say no in the sense that no, they cannot help you and they're not the right person for you. I'm not afraid to say that now, even with all my years as a personal trainer and all the degrees that I have, because if I'm trying to help someone who's not suitable for what skills that I have, I'm only doing them wrong, but I'm also doing myself wrong and it damages my reputation. So you need to make sure that you can do the same thing with each person that you find who is able to look after you to the same ability that they would want to protect their reputation and yourself as well. Now, all I can say is this workout will get you started and I hope that you actually do start exercising. I really believe that everyone out there needs to start doing something. And if this is a little push and nudge that gets you going to help you build momentum, then so be it. Just make sure it's the right one for you for the long term. That's all guys, hope you enjoyed me hurting myself and if you have anything else that you want me to try, let me know. Comment down below.